incredibly stupid it may seem to some of you, but nevertheless, I think I cannot help it anymore. Maybe, maybe that's the main driver in all this, but yes, Ru, this is serious business. I have, of the last year about, become obsessed with the city of New Orleans. And it is very odd. I am not from the south at all. I am from San Jose, California, Silicon Valley. Um, and I have become obsessed with New Orleans and this is all mainly because of The Secret by so all those guys' fault, really. You see, uh, but mainly Byron Price's and John June Palomar's. <laughs> Definitely John June <laughs> Because I was working on the treasure hunts of the secret, right? And because I'm from San Jose, of course, I was working on the San Francisco painting. Uh, which basically a lot of people agree is this lady and the thing is this one's really hard <laughs> so I got stuck on that one and finally was like I'm just gonna pick another one to work on and I just was like totally drawn to this one the mask in the clock and I liked this one a lot and I was like okay this is just cool and interesting to look at why not clear this one out you know get my mind a break from San Francisco like nothing can possibly be as hard as San Francisco so I was working on New Orleans or what people commonly have referred to as New Orleans. See, when you're a newbie like me at doing these puzzles, you can go online and basically pick up the pieces of the generation before you, you know, or Degrassi, the next generation, if you will. Or it is, or what did they call us? The EU generation for Expedition Unknown for all of us who were introduced to the puzzle from Expedition Unknown and Josh Gates. So we're the EU generation, so we can kind of pick up the puzzle pieces of the priors and they help us basically, uh, you're, you're dumb not to take the gifts of the work of others that's been handed to you. So uh, most of the locations are known, at least the general locations. Usually the, you know, cities have been identified. So this one is New Orleans, and I guess we could talk about how we know it's New Orleans, or I could do a whole video on just that. I probably will, because there's a lot to it. So, my obsession, how, why? So, basically, I ended up doing a lot of research about New Orleans by doing research on this puzzle and I came to love the history of the city despite the horrible aspects of that history as well. So I found it very exciting, different, historical. I just got carried away and I just really want to visit New Orleans. Maybe I just want to visit. Maybe that's all I need to do. Maybe I just need to do the basic 
thing and walk down Bourbon Street and get a beignet at Cafe du Monde and call it a day. You know, be basic and go to Bourbon Street, right? I could just keep, keep it like that, you know? Do it and see if that is really all that, right? So, but it's an obsession for some reason with me, you know what I mean? It's either like I like it a lot or I don't like it at all. I don't care about it. So that's how I am about New Orleans still. There's so many rabbit holes I could go on about New Orleans right now, but I forgot what the point of this video was. Just to tell you why I'm obsessed with New Orleans. Well, yeah, it's because of this puzzle. I've been working on it. It's forced me to do history research. It's forced me to do music research. It's forced me to do geographical and topological research with maps and pictures, social movements, things that not everybody talks about anymore. I have come, I've come to think that I know where a cask is in New Orleans. Does that really matter? No, because I think New Orleans itself is really the treasure, right? Because visiting New Orleans is not the same as being like, aha, I found, or I solved your little logic puzzle by Ryan Price. Like, yeah, that's really fun and satisfying in its own right. But so is actually visiting New Orleans and seeing all these amazing places he's referencing, right? So that's really why it has made me obsessed with New Orleans. Um, and personally, I think a lot of the French quarters referenced and as well as uh, maybe the Treme. And those are areas I would love to explore. Um, so I believe City Park's referenced. I would also love to explore City Park. It's supposed to be one of the most uh, green open green spaces in New Orleans so it does I do see a valid argument for why it could be there it's a good open area of green space out of the way not in the foot of foot traffic of tourists right personally I'm of the camp it's not in City Park I think it's in the historical area unfortunately I don't know if that means it's unrecoverable or not um, it just means it's gonna be hard, but you know uh, Solving these is half the fun and going there is the other half of the fun. I don't and I guess I, You know the third half of the fun <laughs> or The third of the fun if you let's make it thirds is actually digging up a cask and You know sometimes that might get you a misdemeanor but nonetheless, I think you should definitely visit New Orleans, whether you think you can actually get a dig permit for a spot there or permission to dig from City Park. I, you know, I am not advising you dig at all. I am advising you get permission wherever you dig. So, <clears throat> with that being said, I still want to visit New Orleans just because Byron Price and John Jude Palancar have forced me to do all this research about New Orleans. And I have to go now. I just have to. And that that's where it is. Uh, that's where I'm at. <laughs>